Um, well, good afternoon, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys coming out, but um, you know, really excited about you know the steps we've taken and where we're headed uh, in the future here. Uh, looking forward to Cincinnati, but really appreciate the the work that our players have done. Not only the ones that are on the on the team right now, but currently the you know the ones that have moved on and wish them the best. But uh, really excited with what we have on the team and uh, looking forward to uh, Cincinnati. The flurry of roster moves where you have specialists and all of a sudden you don't for like a hot second. Was that as bizarre for you as it was for us trying to keep track of it? It, it, it is, but uh, you know, that's part of it. I know uh, there's going to be some transactions like there is at other positions on other teams. And I know our personnel uh, people, they uh, do a great job and uh, I got the most confidence in them. And, and uh, really just believe in them. They're the best at what they do. And um, they're doing what's best for this uh, team and this organization. Expectation that these three specialists you got are going to be the ones that you carry into week one. Yeah, that's my expectation. Uh, th those are who that's who's on the roster right now, and so uh, you know, moving forward, see whatever we can do to get better. How crazy though, some of these roster rules and you know loopholes and stuff that you know, like you said, you, know, you let a guy go one day, like the long snapper and the punter, and then he's back the next day. Yeah, it's. I mean, those are probably rules that I don't. Uh, I know, but uh, I leave it up to those guys making those decisions, and uh, I just got to make sure we go ahead and get those uh, players that are on our roster, just get them ready and prepare for uh, Cincinnati. How do you assess the preseason that Greg had? You know, you know, I think uh, Greg had did a lot of good things. You know, very encouraging in terms of his kickoffs. You know, what we asked him to do, his field goals. I mean, he's 100 percent inside of 50 yards. Uh, we know the things we need to build on. We know he can make those the 52 yard and 51 yard, but he bounced right back and had success. And, and so we're excited where he's headed in that direction. He's in a good place, and uh, you know, looking forward to moving on with him. Who do you got for the uh, punt returner job? What's your expectation? You know, that's uh, I don't want to give away too much, but uh, you know, we got some really good, talented guys on the roster that um, you know are going to be able to handle that duties, and it could be by a committee. We don't know, but uh, you know, we have an idea of what we want to go moving forward, and uh, we're going to assess it as we continue going uh, in the next week. Yes. What's your comfort level if it's Westbrook stepping in there, having not taken much in the preseason? You, you know, I'm very comfortable with him there because it's not necessarily that he wasn't able to do it in the preseason. We, we practice him a lot, but also. It's, this is not his first NFL game as a punt returner. He's had success, you know, with Jacksonville, and, and now it's partial. You know, the the reason why I wanted to bring him here too, you know, for to be able to compete for that. But um, yeah, very comfortable with him. With kickoff return at Smith Marset, right? As, as far as he was competing in that mix, I know Abdullah's now on the practice squad. So is that a situation where you assess each week if you might need to call him up, or are you comfortable with the strides that Amir has made? You know, I'm very I'm very comfortable with uh, you know Smith Marset. He's uh, done a lot of great things. I mean, obviously we're building in that direction. He did it in college, and he was electrifying. I mean, he brings a, a skill set, you know, a different dynamic with the speed. Uh, but you know we have some really talented returners, not only just on practice squad, but on this roster that we can go ahead and elevate. And and whoever the personnel guys say that these are going to be up, then we'll go ahead and adjust and uh, be ready to go. Mike Zimmerman mentioned that they kept so many linebackers in part because of what they do on special teams. How have you thought that that group has helped you and progress throughout the preseason? No, I mean we're excited about that position right now. We feel that you know pretty deep with those uh, with that personnel, and uh, we have some athleticism there to be able to be have some flexibility on how we go ahead and utilize them and the, the scheming of everything. And and just as you know, coach has been great allowing us to say, hey, you go ahead and you can use these guys and uh, get out there and just we want to make sure we go ahead and get. Um, the results that we're looking for and then uh, to improve this unit to flip the field and b play that complimentary football that we've always talked about.